a cylinder has a radius of x minus 2 and a height of x plus 8. If L is the length of the longest rod that can be placed inside the cylinder, show that x has to be square root of L squared minus 80 over 5. So the best thing is to draw a cylinder. Whenever you have a question, the best is to draw a cylinder. So let me try to draw a cylinder. So this is, let me copy this and paste it here. Okay, so this is a cylinder. So this is a cylinder. Okay. So what, what do we know? The radius is, so let's write what is given. The radius r is equal to x minus 2. And the height, so what does this mean? So the diameter is 2 times the radius. So it is 2 times x minus 2. So let's simplify. So this is 2x minus 4. Okay. And the height, the height is, is x plus 8. Okay, now the longest rod that can be placed would be a rod that you can place like this. This is the longest rod that you can place. Say so this is, this has got a length of L. This has got a length of L. Okay, so what is this? What is this distance? What is this distance? And what is this distance? Well, this is the diameter, so just we saw this is 2x minus 4, and the height is x plus 8. So which theorem can you use here? Which theorem pops out? So if you look at this triangle, I want you to look at this triangle. There's a well-known theorem that you have used right from year 10 or year 9, I don't know. Well, this is a Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so using Pythagoras theorem, I can say L squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the square of the smaller sides or shorter sides. So 2x minus 4, the whole squared, plus x plus 8, the whole squared. So what will happen? So let's expand and simplify. So this is L squared. And I'm going to write this as 2x minus 4 times 2x minus 4. Okay, so you can pause this video and try to do this yourself if you can. x minus 2x minus 4 plus So I hope you have understood this. So what will get cancelled? Well, minus 16x and plus 16x gets cancelled. You can simplify these two. So L squared simplifies to 5x squared plus 80. So let's take away 80 from both sides. If you take away 80 from this side, you can take away 80 from this side. So you can say L squared minus 80. So this gets cancelled is equal to 5x squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So your 5 gets cancelled. So this implies your x squared is L squared minus 80 divided by 5. 
and now I have to take the square root of this side, so I have to take the square root of this side. So x is equal to square root of L squared minus 80 divided by 5. And that's what you were supposed to do. So this is your final answer.